Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my continued coverage of the Olympus Tough TG2. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the menu system. A lot of people request this type of video just so you can get a good idea of what you can actually adjust on the camera. Now for the purposes of this video, I've gone into program mode. In some modes, you might find some of the menu options actually greyed out and not accessible. I've already pushed the menu button and that takes me straight into camera menu one. And the first option at the top here is to reset the, all, all of the settings on the camera, that basically does. And then we've got compression settings here between fine and normal. That's gonna actually uh, compress the JPEGs that this camera takes, uh, either a small amount or hardly at all. So fine will give you a lot more detail. Uh, normal compression will also result in smaller file sizes. And then we've got shadow adjust, and we've got the option of auto, off or on. And then we've got AF mode. And in this options, we've got face, IESP, spot or AF tracking. And then we've got metering modes here, ESP or spot. And then we've got digital zoom, and we've just got the options of off or on. And then we've got image stabilizer, and we've got the options of off or on. And then if we go down, it automatically goes into camera menu two. You can see the little icon here highlighted in green. Accessory settings. So we've got remote flash and conversion lens, and I will be taking a look at a conversion lens in a future video. Then we've got AF illumination, and we've got the options of off or on. Record view, options of off or on. Picture orientation, again, off or on. Icon guide will be off or on. Date stamp, which is gonna put the date in the bottom corner of your photos, again, off or on. Super res zoom, off or on. And then we've got the movie menu, which we've now gone down into. Image size, we can choose between 1080p, 720p, VGA. And then we've got two high speed options, 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second. And this actually drops the resolution down quite considerably. IS movie mode, which is image stabilization whilst you're recording movies. Again, off or on options there. And then we've got some on or off options for actually recording audio alongside our video recording. Wind noise setting, again, we've got the options of off or on. And recording volume, we can switch between normal or low. So if you were in a very noisy environment, perhaps a concert, for example, then you would set that to low so it would create less distortion in the audio you were recording. We go down, oh, we've got the playback menu here as well, which um, has got details here for slideshow, edit, erase, print order, upload order, and flash air settings. And then we move down into settings menu one. So we've got memory format, we've got some backup and iFi options. So if we had an iFi card installed in this, we'd have extra options there. We've got custom mode setup, USB connection, power on settings and sound settings. I will give you a quick look in sound settings. This is just the sound type for when you're navigating through menus, pushing various buttons, and also playback volume as well for your audio levels. And then down into settings menu two, we can reset the file name. We've got pixel mapping options. We've also got some monitor brightness options here as well. Info off, which is the length of time information re remains on the screen when you enter the display mode. We've got it set to 10 seconds at the moment. TV out options, which we can choose between PAL or NTSC. And also the HDMI out options, which we can choose between 480 and 567p, 720p, or 1080i. And then we've got also HDMI control options as well. Power save options, language options, and then down into settings menu three, we've got time, world time, beauty settings, tough settings, and GPS settings. Let's just take a, a dive into beauty settings. We've got set one, two, and three, and this allows you to set preset settings into here and capture image, images using that particular setting. And then we've got tough settings, We've got a manometer, meter or feet, tap control, and LED illuminator. And then GPS settings, we can just set it to off or on, and then various country, state, city, and landmark settings as well. So that concludes the look at the menu settings on the Olympus Stylus Tough TG2. Thank you very much for watching. Please do stay tuned for some photo and video tests on this, as well as a full review. Thanks very much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.